Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is CJ. I'm going to bring you guys an update on my 37-gallon reef tank. It's been a little while since I shared with you guys some of the changes. been busy moving corals and uh, doing some experimenting with my sump. So, we'll keep this video short and sweet. Hope you all enjoy it. So overall, tank's been well behaved. I'll hit that three month mark next week. Still haven't dosed anything. Just sticking with my weekly water change regimen. And anyone new to my channel, keep in mind just for three months, I know I may seem far along, but I actually cycled my rocks and uh, seeded them with some live rock for about six weeks before I even started this system. Just a FYI for anyone new. But as far as uh, corals placements, uh, you can tell I've been moving them around a little bit. Candy canes move from the bottom up top. Uh, move some of my frog spine heads around. And when it comes to moving corals, I will tell you this. Never ever make the mistake I did using the epoxy. Uh, you know, it's all good. It, it dries like cement. But when it comes to try to remove something, it's damn near impossible. I actually lost four heads of frog spine due to my failed attempts of chipping it out or trying to break it loose. So uh, definitely regret that move. But as far as everything else that's remaining, pretty happy with the placement. I'll talk a little more about that later. For now, I'm gonna give you all a look underneath the tank. It's been a while since I showed you my son. I'm trying something a little different this time around. Give you guys a quick peek under the tank. Anyone's never seen it. I'm still running my uh, JBJ Auto Top Off. I got a one gallon RO reservoir down here. Took out the bigger jug. I wanna be able to keep track of just how much I'm losing every day now. And I still got my e-shop, so you can see it's pulling skim eight. I actually uh, noticed they do more work at night. For some reason, it doesn't pull anything during the day. I've also removed the mechanical filtration from here, filter floss. I actually only use it during water changes when I'm blowing the rock off. It was catching too much of my micro light. After I removed that filtration, I actually noticed a lot more copepods, a lot more uh, things crawling around in my fuge area here. So it's definitely doing what I wanted to do at this point. I got a couple hermits and a snail in there to keep it kind of clean. But I just want to give you all a quick look underneath the tank. I need to tidy up some of these wires, I know. But uh, everything's still going good, so no leaks, no problems. Two main reasons I rearranged my corals. The first one, I wanted to make sure they still fit the outline of my scape, leaving the gaps in the cave areas I want. And the second reason, a lot of my larger corals were casting shadows over my smaller ones. So I try to arrange them in a way to where everyone gets plenty of light, everyone gets plenty of flow, and everyone's happy. Give you guys an update on my green star polyps. It's growing like crazy and crusting all over the rock work. And I'm glad I have it isolated to this rock. Anyone who has it in your system and you do not have a physical barrier or border to stop it from crossing, it's not going to stop. As you can see, it's going to cover this whole rock probably another few months. Uh, but it's doing well. It's giving me the look I want and I have it isolated. And this is my rose bubble tip. He's still in the same place and growing slowly. Host free for the moment. Clowns still have not shown an interest. Hopefully one day soon, but other than that, as long as he stays put and doesn't cause any drama, it's all good. Now I've had him in here for a few weeks now. Appears to be getting the food he needs, but he's not putting on any weight, so I'm either gonna have to supplement my system with extra pods or consider giving this guy back to the pet store. So I'm gonna give a little bit more, try to make a decision. But so far, he's still alive and kicking. Hope you guys enjoyed the quick close-ups. I'm going to give you guys a look at the tank with the attendant lights turned up just a little bit more. If I can't handle much more than this without bleeding out, I just want to give you guys an idea of the contrast I have in my system. You know, the green with purple tips, purple with green tips, uh, the brown, the orange, the yellows, all the different zoanthids. I mean, lots of different colors in this system. I actually believe they can be even better than this, but I have yet to dose. Just been doing weekly water changes, so if you guys got an idea of a better uh, quality salt I can use, or maybe something easy to dose during the middle of the week, my uh, parameters are not too bad off, but at the end of the week, I got my calcium at about 360 and my uh, alkalinity is about 9 dKH. I know after my water change it rises, but if I can keep it from dropping during the week, it'll probably help my colors out. But other than that, I'm not going to hold you guys up much longer. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Comment, subscribe. You know, y'all do what y'all do. Y'all be easy.